hey guys welcome to part three of our apron tutorial thank you so much for joining me and of course i would like to just make an apology i'm so sorry that it took me so long to finish this apron and to put up all of the tutorials but with load shedding the way that it is i was just not able to post so i think that next time to avoid something like this before i post something i'll make sure to have recorded the entire thing before i even start posting the parts because um some of these tutorials will be getting quite long so i apologize for that um anyway my name is lelo thank you so much for joining me and please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you enjoy this video so let's begin we carry on with our alternating colors so it's two red and one orange and one green yo and one green we insert and tighten and then two orange and one green and then two red And one green. Now remember, when we turn, we use four beads. So two green. Because we're going to insert right here. And two red. Okay, let's meet back at our apron, at our diamond, sorry. Okay, so now we are back at our diamond. Again, we have to create our diamond, so one green and two orange for our diamond. Now we are within our diamond number one. So if we're within, we do three of our diamond color, three beads of our diamond color. What, now we in the red diamond so now we are carrying on with the formation of red diamond okay and then now we are within our red diamond. Okay. So it's that time again for a new diamond. So, let me show you on our finished product. On the apron we meant to make. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm going to move you a little. So, I should sneak in our apron. And then... So this is what we've done, okay? We've created diamond number one, we've created diamond number two, and now we're right here at diamond number three. 
So now what we have to do is we have to finish this one, finish this one. We right now are starting with creating this one and carry on with these two. Okay. So let's carry on with that. Ooh, sorry. Let me just situate. Okay. Now we are forming a new diamond within our red diamond. So now we're going back to orange, right? We will grab one green, one green, one orange and one green. We find our middle. And we tidy up our work, okay? So now we have diamond number one, diamond number two, and we just started with diamond number three. So diamond number two, we are within so we will grab three colors of diamond number three diamond number two i mean to say sorry so we tighten up nicely okay My camera will focus on this. Um, so now we are in the outer part of diamond number two. So two red, one green. And now we are back to the inner part of diamond number one. So at that point, we're going to do... three orange okay we find excuse me and we insert in the center <sighs> okay and now we are on the outer part of diamond number one so we grab two orange, one green, we find the center and we insert. Do you see how lovely it's coming along? Even though our colors aren't communicating well with each other, you can clearly tell where we are now. You can clearly tell what we're trying to do and where we're going here. Even though the colors, <laughs> our colors are just difference so now we're carrying on with our lines which by now i'm sure we know two color one green alternate two color one green Alternate again to color one green. Let me just add my thread now. Let me not wait until it's super short. Sorry, I'll be back when I'm done with that. so we've arrived here at diamond number one so we carry on with the creation of our diamond number one 
the outer part so we are doing two orange and I just tied a knot we are doing two orange and one green on earth did I even tie this knot okay it's out we are doing one green to orange sorry and now we are again within our diamond number one our orange diamond now we're doing three orange now we've caught up with diamond number two but we are at the outer part of diamond number two okay there we go I'll be back just now let me just check what i did wrong okay so i found what i did wrong <laughs> i accidentally put my thread into two beads i was it's it just looks short so i just accidentally put it into two beads instead of one instead of the center and i've been saying this for so long and i'm the one that gets it wrong okay so we go back to only the center only okay and that's the thing like if you if you constantly do this and if you constantly do beads you can sort of just tell if it's not all right if if you if you are making a mistake you can just you just know they just feel wrong and they look wrong okay you can just tell that it's it feels a little short you know so back to our work we're doing the outer parts of diamond number two so it's one green two red now we are in the inner part of diamond number two now we are we have reached diamond number three okay so now we're supposed to create diamond number three so we grab one green and two orange which is the color of diamond number three okay so we insert nicely and then now we are on the other side so we do just the opposite of that where we do now two orange one green okay So now we grab three red because we are within diamond number two. We find Mrs. Center and we insert. So now we on the outer part of diamond number two again the center and pull now again in the inner part of diamond number one
and we pull okay so now we are again outer part of diamond number one and we insert and pull okay and now we've gone back to our lines okay so two red one green and then two orange one green one green okay so this is how far we've come let's see from our finished apron how far that actually is okay I'm gonna shift you a little so that we can put in our apron okay so here we are we are over here okay so we are almost at the part where we reach our points here and then we're gonna reach our points this side and then we're gonna be able to turn okay so let me do one more line and let's do it together okay so let's turn we turn with our border color too and the color where we will be inserting too like so Here's where we will be inserting. now again we arrive at our apron at our diamond <laughs> so now we are at the outer part of our diamond So, three of our diamond column. And we now at the outer part of diamond number two. We find the center and we insert and pull. Now, we carry on within diamond number two. We find our center. Sorry, I was out of frame. And pull. Okay. Now we are at diamond number three. So we're supposed to create diamond number three. This is the outer part. So when we do the outer parts, we know that it's one border color and two of that diamond color okay now we are within diamond number two so 
so we do one two three because we are inside And again, we carry on with the outer part to orange one green. Now we're in the middle of diamond number two. We within diamond number two, sorry. We do three colors of diamond number two. And we pull. Now we carry on with diamond number two. We have the outer part. So, two diamond number two color and our border color. Okay. Again, we are within diamond number one. So three diamond number one colors. Now we are at the outer part of diamond number one. So two colors of diamond number one and one green. Oh, sorry, friend. Okay. See how nicely it's coming along? The colors aren't as insane as I thought they'd be. But it's coming along. We can tell what we're doing. <laughs> we can see where we are. So, now we're creating our lines. Oops. Okay, so we carry on with our orange line. So it's two orange, one green. Flip her over. And we turn to border color. Two colors where we will insert. because now we're on the red part. Okay. Now we carry on with our diamond, but the outer part. So we're doing one for a color. And two diamond number one color. I almost inserted at the wrong place. I'm jumping. Okay. Now within diamond number one, we do our three colors. Okay. Now we are on the outer part 
of diamond number two. So to color, I mean add one green to color. Okay, now we are within diamond number two. So now three color from diamond number two. So now we are on the outer part. Of diamond number one so it's one color one um, border color and two from diamond number three then to say diamond number three our furthest diamond right now okay so now we are within our orange within our third diamond so we grab three orange beads okay and we find our center and we insert right here okay so we are now creating the outer part of our third diamond okay and we find the center and we insert so now we are in our second diamond we are creating within it so we grab three red beads we find our center and we insert we are creating the outer part we grab two red beads and one green bead we find the center okay now there's a mistake right here <laughs> right here we made a mistake but we can I picked the wrong color. Okay, now I grab three orange beads. I find the center because now I am within my orange diamond and I insert. Sorry, let me just readjust this properly. By the way, y'all, I am using upholstery thread, okay? So, we carry on. We create the outer part of our diamond, our first diamond. So, I will grab two orange, one green. I will find the center and I will insert, okay? So, now I have to finish up this... Um, red line so two red one green okay so now we are turning so i grab two green and two red okay i find my center and i have completed this red line here okay okay so now i just finished turning so i grab one green two orange and i carry on i insert and i tighten okay now I grab three orange because I am within my diamond. Now 
I'm at the end of this diamond, okay? So I insert and I will keep creating these lines. So now it's time for one green and two red. as I create these lines so that I can get to the middle and we will meet again at the middle and that's when we'll speak again. Okay, so now we are at the center. So what we do when we get to this center, we are going to take our border color. So in this case, it is our three green here and put in just our border color. So I have three green and now I will carry on as usual. So I'm going to get three orange because I'm still within Ooh, not this one <laughs> three orange because I'm still within my diamond and then two orange one green there we go and then three red and then two red one green and then now again three orange And then two orange, one green. And now we are outside of our diamonds. So we go into two red, one green. So I'll flip this around and we can look at it from this angle okay so now we turn we turn with two green two red two two green <clears throat> two red Okay. All right. So now in this pattern that I am teaching you, we will complete our diamond. This will be the point. So now we have to create the first line that will cup our diamond. So if you look carefully, this is how far we have gotten. Okay. We are at the end of this diamond and we are at the end of it this side as well but we're still this side so now what we have to do since we're here is create this line that will be the closest to our diamond this one the first line going this way so how will we go about doing that so let's flip our work over and let's go ahead I just need to tighten my work. And let's grab one green. Now the nearest line when we cup our diamond, the nearest solid line is our red. So we grab one red and one green again. Okay. So 
we insert that on our sensor bead and just like that we've closed off our diamond and we've created a way for us to have our first line so now this diamond has to come to an end so now we grab one two three diamond color of our orange we insert again one two of our orange this time two of our orange and one green okay because now we are ending the second diamond and we insert and just like that we've closed the diamond can i just um increase my thread and we'll be back okay so i've added my thread now it's time to turn on this diamond so i grab three diamond color okay i find my center i insert into the center bead and i okay now again i will grab two red beads and one green bead okay just so to close off the orange diamond now to create a nice border on the orange diamond i have to tighten and here we are now the orange diamond is closed off so now i grab three orange beads three okay now i will grab two orange beads and one green bead okay here we are and i will insert properly okay again one green bead now that i'm doing everything in the opposite and two orange beads okay I'll find the center and I will tighten. Now I have to take three orange beads. Okay. Remember now, I have to do everything I did this side i have to do it this side as well so this time so now you saw how i was closing off diamonds this side now i have to do it this side as well so now i will grab one green and two red so my red diamond can turn okay and now I grab three red beads. Now I will grab one green bead and two orange beads. One green, two orange. Okay. Now three orange beads. I will find 
my scent on. And I will insert. Okay. So again, I have to do the same for the orange diamond. I have to make sure that it's closed off. So I will grab one green bead. Now I am starting again with this here to create the lines that will go like this. So I will grab one orange. I will grab one red. I'm sorry, I'll grab one green one red and one green specifically for the pattern that we're doing today this is what we're going to do i will find the center i will insert into the center and i will pull okay now i am turning so how do i turn i will grab two green so when i turn i will insert into here but I have to start with the next line that will go like this. So the next line has to be orange. I will grab two green, one orange, and one green again. So you see what I'm doing? This will be my following line. The orange is my following line. I will find my center here and I will insert in my center. I will tighten and insert, okay? So these are the two lines, we've already formed them, that will be going like this around our diamond. 